Atlas Obscura, An Explorer's Guide to the World's Hidden Wonders, by Joshua Four, is a captivating and unique work that explores the obscure and hidden wonders of the world. This book takes readers on a journey to some of the most mysterious and lesser-known places on Earth, celebrating the extraordinary and the unexpected. Four's book is not just a collection of travel destinations, it is a literary and visual marvel that seamlessly blends the genres of travel writing and art. It encourages readers to view the world through a different lens, promoting a sense of wonder and curiosity about the diverse and unconventional. Four's narrative is enriched by his evocative language, which paints vivid and imaginative pictures in the reader's mind. One of the most remarkable aspects of Atlas Obscura is its diverse selection of obscure destinations. The book explores a wide range of places, from natural wonders like the Devil's Kettle Waterfall in Minnesota to man-made marvels such as the Catacombs of Paris. Four's inclusion of places like the Door to Hell in Turkmenistan and the ruins of Detroit's Michigan Central Station ensures that readers will never tire of turning the pages. His selection is a testament to the incredible diversity of the world, a reminder that there is always something extraordinary waiting to be discovered. The narrative is structured in a way that takes readers on a journey across continents, showcasing an assortment of wonders within each region. This organization allows readers to explore the book either as a linear narrative or by jumping to specific sections based on their interests. The book's size and design contribute to its appeal, resembling a well-worn traveler's journal filled with maps, photographs, and vibrant descriptions. Four's writing style is both informative and poetic. He provides historical context for each location while infusing his descriptions with a sense of wonder. For example, when describing the mysterious plain of jars in Laos, he writes, Each jar appears to have been hewn from solid rock, an impossibly labor-intensive undertaking, the sort of feat that might be accomplished by giants or gods. This kind of vivid language infuses each location with an air of mystique, making it all the more enticing to explore. Atlas Obscura is not just about the physical places, it is also about the people and stories behind them. For introduces readers to individuals who have dedicated their lives to preserving and sharing these hidden wonders, emphasizing the human connection to these obscure destinations. Whether it's a man in Scotland who carves intricate designs into the stones of Fingal's Cave or a community in Japan that holds an annual festival to celebrate an enormous boulder, the book underscores the cultural and emotional significance of these hidden places. Throughout the book, For encourages readers to embrace their own sense of wonder and curiosity, to become explorers in their own right. He invites them to see the world in a different light and to appreciate the extraordinary in the ordinary. This theme is perhaps best captured in the book's introduction, where he writes, Atlas Obscura is about how wonderful the world really is. And it's about all the curious people out there who want to go out and find it. Atlas Obscura is an ode to the thrill of discovery and the joy of exploration. It invites readers to become active participants in their own adventures, to seek out the hidden wonders in their own neighborhoods and beyond. It is a testament to the idea that there is always something new to learn and experience, even in the most unexpected places. In conclusion, Joshua Four's Atlas Obscura, an explorer's guide to the world's hidden wonders, is a beautifully crafted work that celebrates the world's hidden treasures. Through its diverse selection of locations, poetic descriptions, and emphasis on human stories, the book invites readers to embark on their own journeys of discovery. It's a reminder that the world is a vast and wondrous place, and the spirit of exploration is something to be cherished and nurtured. Four's work is not just a guidebook but a literary and visual masterpiece that inspires readers to see the world with fresh eyes and kindles their inner explorer.